This is the injury report presented by NYU Langone Health. We know which teams are going to be playing on Super Bowl Sunday, but some players on the injury report might not heal up in time. So let's talk big game injuries with Dr. Laith Jazrawi of NYU Langone Orthopedics on today's injury report. Uh, doctor, thanks for hopping on with this. This is the worst time as a player to be injured, especially with the Super Bowl two weeks, uh, two weeks away. Let's talk about Chiefs left guard Joe Thune. He missed Sunday's championship game with a pec injury. There are a lot of conflicting reports on if his MRI last week showed a muscle tear or if it was just a strain. So can you break down that injury, its effects, and if Thune has a shot to play in the big game in two weeks. All right, Brandon, thanks for having me on. So the pec, complicated muscle, right? And one of the chest wall muscles, um, it kind of fans out, has two connections on the chest, both on, you know, the clavicle and the sternum. The problem with that is there's many levels to it. You can get tears both in the muscle, you can get tears in the muscle tendon unit, and then you can get tears all the way right where the tendon attaches to the bone. And each have a different prognosis. And so the challenge is the MRIs are often very challenging to interpret, especially if they're partial injuries. And I think that's what's leading to some of the confusion in him. And it doesn't matter whether it's just a strain. If it hurts, he can't play and he can't be effective, then they're not going to put him in. And, and that's kind of the challenge. So really, with two weeks and a muscle strain, he may very well be ready to go. But by that point, if he's not better, they may get further imaging to see if it's actually a you know a worse tear than it actually is, and then uh, you know may may sideline it. But my feeling is two weeks on a muscle injury, if it is indeed a strain, he'll be back. On the pain scale, one to ten, with ten being the highest, let's say it is a strain and he does play, how much on the pain level is he going to be faced with during that Super Bowl game? I think it's tough because look, it's the chest wall. Those linemen. That's what they do. Yep. They use their chest to push, you know, the uh, defensive backs, uh, you know, the defensive linemen away. Yep. And that's that's what they do. So it's going to be strained the whole time. There's no real immobilizer and there's no real injection that they can mm. give directly in that area. There are other pain medications that they can give that can help, but they never quite take it fully away. So this is one of those things where, it, you know, the, med the meds can help, but really, He's got to be good to play or he's not going to be effective. All right, let's talk about the two guys who were injured, but they did play on Sunday. Chiefs running back Isaiah Pacheco and uh, I guess you can call 49ers do-it-all guy Debo Samuel, just a, a Swiss Army knife. Pacheco and Samuel were limited to just one practice during the week, but they still were somewhat effective without being 100%. So how close to full goal will they be in these two weeks? And should those players worry about any lingering effects from the injury at the start of the offseason? I mean, Debo looked good. I didn't even, quite honestly, until you told me, uh, I really didn't look at the injury report. He, he, he looked great. So uh, I think whatever they're both dealing with is sort of a minor strain or, or something more minor that in two weeks they'll even be you know, at the point where they're able to play more consistently. So, quite honestly, I, I see them that being either 100 percent or, you know, essentially close to 100 percent, you know, playing. So they're they're not to be worried about. All right. Yeah. Debo looked like Debo from the movie Friday. That dude was out of control. Eight catches, 89 yards. He's just a playmaker. Uh, you know, as a former NFL athlete, I've always wondered what the proper rest was after the season. So I'm glad I have you on, Doc. What advice would you give the players from both the Chiefs and the 49ers in terms of allowing their bodies to heal and recover as fast as possible after the big game? Like how much of it should be just regular rest versus active rest? Right. So I, I think there's no time, right? Unless they're the pro the pro bowl is before the super bowl this year uh so i for the from my standpoint when i talk to them i say take your time you don't need to get into necessarily an ice bath or rush into anything this is about the the season's over get some wh whether you want to call it active rest or rest rest for me it's just rest rest for those first couple of weeks afterwards and then we can get you know, back into it. There's really no rush to get back, back into anything and anything that they need to do to get teed up for whatever sport they're playing next. If they do another sport outside of football, 
which is unlikely or anything recreational should be just that recreational and for fun so take it easy both on the lifting standpoint uh you know as well as any competitive play for at least two to three weeks after the end of the season Doc, if you would have told me get some rest, rest, I would have said Cancun it is. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, thanks That's for uh, hopping on with us today. You got it, Brandon. Thanks for having me.